Our next guest is the star of a new show that is based on an old show um, that took place in the same apartment as the new show. It's called How I Met Your Father. It's streaming on Hulu now. Please welcome Francia Raisa. <laughs> It's a very energetic way to enter a room. I could never do that, not Aww. in a million years. Thank you. Well, there's music playing. I, I find any excuse to shake my tail feathers. I see, I see. Did you bring a book in case you get bored, I or what? Did. I did. Well, <laughs> I brought a book just for you. So years ago, I was hoping to be on this show, and I have so many stories that happened in my life, like crazy stories. And my friend one time was like, this would be a great Jimmy Kimmel story. And I said, oh my gosh, you're right. But Years were going by, and I had so many Jimmy Kimmel stories <laughs> that I had to start writing them down in a journal. So this is my Jimmy journal. Oh, it's got my name on and it. And it's got your name on it. Can I look at it? Well, you can't look in it, but you can I look at look it. I can't look in it. OK, look at it. How do yeah, I know it's, it's not Jimmy Fallon, then? I mean, it just says Jimmy. I well, say my last name on it. Well, here's the thing. I didn't yeah. know if you were going to reject me. You know, this happens a lot in the industry. Oh, just in case. You yeah, it, yeah, you know, I, you get used to it. That's a lie. You don't get used to it. It always hurts. <laughs> but, you, do, you know, I didn't know if you were going to reject me. But I don't look at the front anymore, you know, because I've written so much. And then I opened it, and I did write your name on it. Oh, you did? Oh, how about that? Oh, Look wow. at the power of this Look secret. At that. That's so strange. I feel like I'm a part of your life. You are a part of like, my what life. Okay, so what kind of story will we find in this journal with my name on it? Well, in the beginning of it, I wrote a story. It was the time I ended up topless in the hot tub with Tyra Banks. Oh, that's, Stories that's like that. definitely a Jimmy story. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so Tyra and I were doing a movie called Life Size 2 um, back in 2018, and she was wanted to bond with me so we can get to know each other better. We were playing BFFs. Uh -huh. And so she was like, why don't we go to the spa? And I was like, great. She goes, you have a car, right? Why don't you just pick me up? Can you imagine driving a supermodel in your car? In, yeah, no. In Atlanta, where I didn't know these streets at all. What kind of car did you have at the time? A rental, some, oh. a sedan. I drive an SUV, so it's some like, so Toy Toyota Camry. I was like, <laughs> I don't even know this car. I don't know where I'm going. And I was like, yeah. I'll pick you up. No big deal. Maybe she was right off the bat trying to establish the nature of your relationship would be you're the one who picks her up, et cetera. Et cetera. Well, uh -huh. then let's, maybe she did this on purpose. So okay. what happened was I picked her up. I'm driving 10 and 2, keeping my eye on the road. Mm -hmm. That's the only time I've ever driven 10 and 2. Sorry, d and <laughs> And we get to the spa, and she wanted to show up about an hour early so we can go in the hot tub. So we get to the lockers, and she goes, <laughs> I forgot my bathing suit. And at that point, I have my bathing suit in my hand. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, I can't just shove it in and pretend I forgot it, too, because she's looking at me. So I have a decision to make. Do I let this supermodel go in the hot tub butt naked, or do I join her? Now, I wanted to offer to go in naked, but that was weird. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want me to go in naked with you or not? But what mm -hmm. if you're in there and you're like, I wish I had a friend naked because I'm the only one here. So I went have these. I went topless. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Well, that's a nice, you know what? That's, it's always good to compromise. It was a good compromise. <laughs> so you and Tyra then, I mean, this is the first time you've met, or is it the yes, first time? Yes, first time we've met. You get in the thing, and I mean, Tyra Banks is a, is a ridiculously, spectacularly beautiful yeah. supermodel, obviously. And she's naked at, at where you are, and I am. At are naked people naked. going wild, or is there any reaction from the, the spa? You know what? There was a god or something. We were the only ones in there in the hot tub at the moment. and so I. No one else noticed, but uh -huh. I'm sitting here like, you're butt naked in front of me. And then she was like, oh, our massages are up. We're, we're going to get out. And I was like, OK, do I go first? Do you go first? Like, how and do we do it? Who she went, went first. She went first. That's, and that's I proper. I, that's how it's supposed yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. And I looked yeah. that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trying to be respectful. <laughs> Stories like that but are in my But she seems book. like she was pretty relaxed. And then you guys went and got, what, like a couple's massage, or? We, um, we got separate massages, but then we took a nap after, together. What? Yeah. I mean, we weren't separate wait, chairs, but. You, wait, you took a nap together? It was her idea. That's the weirdest part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> you get tired after a massage. That's all you want is a nap. So before I drove wow. back. I'm very interested in your dad, because your dad, for those who don't know, probably most people don't know, was a radio DJ. Is he still working as a DJ? In Mexico. In Mexico, OK. Uh -huh. El Cucue, it uh -huh. was his name. I remember seeing these bus signs and billboards and everything for him. 
when I was, and there he is, that's your father. Oh, yeah. And El Kukui means, El Kukui means, uh, Boogeyman. Uh, boogeyman, right. It's the boogeyman yeah. in the morning. The boogeyman in the morning. Yeah, so they couldn't scare me as a kid. That's one thing that you, they tell kids is, if you don't go to sleep, El Kukui's gonna come get you. And I was like, Daddy. Yeah, you weren't scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm not scared at all. What was it like being raised by the boogeyman? Well, my dad was very raunchy on his show. Uh -huh. Very raunchy. And he didn't explain any of the raunchiness to us. He would talk about sex, and my mom and him would have bits with each other where, like, they would, you know, call each other cara de culo, stuff like that. You don't know what that means, but... I do actually Guillermo. have... A, yeah, you do? Yeah, I have a... I have, yes, I, I know all the curse words. Yeah, so... Yeah. But they didn't tell me they were curse words, and they also didn't explain sex to me. And because they didn't explain any of the other stuff, there was one time where I was at school, and there was a condom, a wrapped condom, in the big yard, and everyone's like, oh my God, a condom. And I was like, yeah, a condom. Cool, cool. Mind you, I'm bilingual, and I grew up in a only Spanish home. They didn't teach me any of this stuff. So everyone's making a big deal, and I'm the only one that opened it. I was like, oh, this looks like the um, balloon animals that clowns use. <laughs> so I blew it up. Oh, you did, yeah. I blew and it up. Everyone and everyone laughed. And I was like, why is this slimy? <laughs> Never a good question, yeah. <laughs> So that's your dad. That's, that's pretty my dad. crazy. Yeah, so your dad funny. got up at like three o'clock in the morning and went yeah. into work and at five a.m. I never saw him because of that. Uh -huh. um, Did you so... listen to him ever? I didn't want to. He you was talking about to. so many weird, nasty things. Right. Yeah. You know? But he admit, did make me go to the radio station with him on Saturdays. Oh, he had to work Saturdays. Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a nightmare. That's yeah, about... you know. It's a you DJ know. nightmare when yeah. you have to get a Saturday shift. So you would go in there and you. It was like... a nightmare when I had to go in too, because I also had school Monday through Friday, and then my dad's making him me go to school. I mean, not to school to work with him on Saturdays, and then he had me be a part of the program. Oh, he did. Oh, yes. but that's got to be fun, right? It was until I got yelled at because I didn't do something right. I was like, I, I want to be sleeping watching Rugrats. Yeah. I want to be in, a, in a, a spa topless with Tyra Banks. What are you doing? What are you doing? I, I want to be on the couch with Jimmy Kimmel. That's not part of my Jimmy journal. You know, um, uh, how I met your father is uh, I think we learned, because nobody knew what the connection to how I met your mother was, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That it's set in the same apartment. Y yes, and one of the And is that it? That's the extent of the connection. Well, we, have, we drop a few little Easter eggs throughout the series. I mm -hmm. mean, I think it's important to know that it is its own show. It has the spirit of the original, but it still feels original. It's all original characters, but the apartment, I guess, would be like the reboot. And then there's the swords. And so we're in there, but there's a few other, I can't say, stuff that happens. Hillary Duff is your co-star on the show. Yes. And uh, had you met her before? I did. You did? Ten years ago, um, I met Hillary um, at her mom's house. She was nine months pregnant with her first, and I get very excited when I learn new things. And um, I had just learned what a mucus plug was, and I, the first thing I asked her was, um, have you lost your mucus plug yet? That's a hell of an opener. Yeah, it was. And so ten years later... You probably got that from El Kukui, I would think. That's, that's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. My dad didn't teach me boundaries. Yeah. And then so ten years later, when I'm auditioning for this, I was like... Do you remember me? She was like, yes, I do. I was like, cool, do you want to go to the spa and bar? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Always yeah. a good idea. Always a good idea. Well, congratulations on the show. It's Thank called you. How I Met Your Father. It's on Hulu right now. Francia Raitza, everybody. We'll be back with Joy Alarico. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.